qualities of use. Come and take me off my daily dose of pain. Take me off and shelter me from the static nothing. You're the antidote from solitude injected in my veins. May the touch of your hand forever be my therapy. Hey everybody. So it has been quite a while since I've filmed last, so there have been some changes. Um, I rearranged my filming room now and have a different filming setup, so hopefully the feng shui of the room feels a little bit better. I kind of like this new setup. Um, I think it looks great. Um, hopefully I can do a like room tour type of video sometime soon uh, once I officially have everything cleaned up and put together the way that I want to. But aside from that, I've also dyed my hair. I added some yellow to the orange that I had before um, and I'm pretty much gonna stay within like this warm tone range for the remainder of the summer, I think. So the last time that I filmed a video for you guys was back in spring break and today is June 1st, so it has been a while since I filmed, but I'm out of school for the summer and have a little more time to dedicate to creating content. So hopefully you'll be seeing my face a little bit more. Today I was planning on getting ready and that's why I have my base makeup and I decided today would be a good day to do the random color challenge. So I have absolutely no idea what today's look is going to be like, what colors I'm gonna use, all of that will be left up to chance. So let's go ahead and get drawing. This bag here I believe has my matte single shadow. So I'm gonna pick two mattes and two shimmers for the eyelids. So let's see here. We've got NYX Hot Pink. I think that's one of the primal colors. Off to a good start. I really like that color. All right, Corpse Cosmetics Nocturne. That's gonna be really pretty. This bag has all of my shimmer shadows, so let me grab some shimmer. We've got, ooh, Surreal Makeup Biohazard. This is gonna look crazy. Hell yeah, this is like a really nice acid green. That's giving me like Powerpuff Girl vibes. Okay, and then we've got, all right. Anastasia Beverly Hills Ready to Wear. So that one is like a, Champagne gold highlight. This bag, my Gudetama Ipsy bag, has all my blushes in it. So let me go ahead and grab a blush. We've got, ooh, perfect. City Colors Dragon Fruit. That one's like a really bright pink. That'll fit right in. And then for highlights, we are picking, Hopefully something within like the same family, something pinky, maybe. All right, AOA Studio Snow. I think that one is a pure white. All right, and then last but not least, we're gonna pick the lip colors later because I have them separated out by uh, mattes versus glosses. So depending on how the look turns out, I'm gonna decide from there whether or not I wanna do a matte lipstick or a glossy lip. But overall, I love this color palette. I'm so th like stoked about this. So the first one that we picked was NYX's Primal Color in Hot Pink. Corpse Cosmetics Nocturne. This is like a matte blue, but it has like blue sparkles throughout it. The sparkles don't necessarily stick on my lids nine times out of 10, so I kind of treat this color as a matte shade, but I freaking love it. Surreal Makeup's Biohazard. This color is so damn pretty. It matches my nails, oh my god. Okay, I was wrong. Ready to Wear is like this darker brownish kind of color, so that's gonna be a bit of a throw off. Hmm, I might use that as my eyebrow color. AOA Studios Wonder Baked Highlighter in Snow. 
this is like it's an intense pink shift highlighter I'm here for that this is city colors be matte blush in dragon fruit which is almost the exact same shade as the hot pink the hot pink is a little bit warmer okay so I think for this look I'm gonna take the Anastasia I can never pronounce this word correctly Anastasia I've always pronounced this Anastasia but the brand I believe pronounces it Anastasia so I'm gonna take this through my eyebrows and make that my eyebrow shade. So I think I'm just gonna draw on like my standard eyebrow shape, very thin, and then throw ready to wear on top of that. So I'm just gonna cover over the entirety of what I drew in uh, ready to wear. Okay, so I changed my mind midway. I'm actually only going to fill in halfway, so that way there's like a natural gradient towards the end. So that way it's only light in the front and then dark in the back. So I'm gonna do that on the other brow. I was like doing the eyebrow and then like just notice how cool that looked, so why not? Okay, so the brows are done. I know they're not really exciting, but with that ready to wear color kind of being like the throw off, I decided to throw it in my eyebrows. I figured that would be the best course of action, especially since it's like close-ish to my hair color and it would like kind of be natural looking. <laughs> um, and I know I did that with the last video where I kind of took the eyeshadow that was like the odd man out and like made it my eyebrow color. It's just what I like to do, I guess. <laughs> but I do think that like taking the color that's like closest to my hair color for the eyebrows is like a very safe play. Um, but the rest of this, I've been mulling it over while I've been doing my brows. What I'm gonna do to start is throw uh, hot pink all over my crease and um, is just all over my crease, but I'm not gonna take it down my under eye. I have a I have an idea. I'm gonna take another Storybooks Cosmetics brush. This one's the really fluffy blender and just throw the primal hot pink all over my eyelid. And also just to tie in a little bit of this blush, since I did say that this was a bit lighter than hot pink, I'm going to dab a little bit of this on top, like fading upwards, just to kind of get like a nice blend and transition. So I just thought about it. I think what I'm going to do is I want to play around with an eye shape that I haven't done in a while which is what I like to call my like drag inspired look. Um, I've worn this in a couple of different looks, but I don't think I've ever done it on camera to show you guys how I do it. Um, so for the lid, I'm just gonna go over it in black. I'm using Visual K by Corpse Cosmetics, which is just standard matte black. And then from there, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with eyeliner. Especially with looks like this, I want the black to be as intense as possible. So I'm using a black eyeshadow base. This is one, this one is discontinued since, but it's one of my favorites and I hope that they either bring it back, reformulate it, or I can find a dupe for it. Um, but this is the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer in black. So it's an actual black eyeshadow primer. Um, but I use it as a black eyeshadow base whenever I'm working with like a matte black look. So I'm just gonna throw this on with a and some form of synthetic bristle brush because synthetic brushes work better with cream.
So from there I'm going to take the Visual K shade, but I'm only going to put it onto my lids. And I'm applying that using an e.l.f. Uh, C brush, which that's what it's called, the eyeshadow C brush. It's just a very thick packing brush. And these are the types of brushes that I especially like to use if I'm applying color to a base. Because it just makes sure that every bit of that shadow gets onto the base. Okay, so now that I have that black on, I'm actually going to take a black eyeliner. Um, I use the e.l.f. Jet Black Expert Liquid Liner, have been since I was like 15. Um, this is my ride or die liner for sure. Um, and I'm just going to paint a really gigantic wing and then create kind of like an open space on the lower lash line on the inner corner um, when I connect the lines. It's kind of hard to explain, but you guys will see what I mean once I actually go ahead and paint my eyes. So what I'm going to do from here is take a little bit more of Visual K, which is that black, onto kind of a small domed eyeshadow brush. I have a particular one in mind that I'm trying to find. I think this was like the e.l.f. crease brush or something like that. It's just a really tiny kind of pencil brush. And where I placed the black um, base, I'm going to put this over it. This allows for the bottom lashes to look a little bit more smoked out, and I'm also not wasting as much liner. Um, and this is going to help with uh, putting Nocturne down there for sure, um, so that way it like blends cohesively. So from there, I still left that little bit on the inner corner open. That's just because I'm going to be doing like an elaborate like inner corner cat wing type of thing um, with white eyeliner. But before I put the white eyeliner on, I'm going to take Surreal Makeup's Biohazard and throw this on my inner corner area. And I think that's the main place where I want to put it. I might put it somewhere else on my face later. Um, but I mostly want to put it on that inner eye space. And I'm applying that using, this is a Real Techniques shading brush, which is just like a very tiny eyeshadow brush. Okay, so the green's not showing up the way that I want it to, so I'm gonna go ahead and spritz a little bit of my brush just to see if I can get that intensity that I want. Um, so what I'm going to do for this is just load up my brush with a little bit, <laughs> load up with a little, wow. I'm um, going to put on a little bit of eyeshadow to my brush and my mixing medium of choice whenever I want to put wet eyeshadow on is I use the Ben Nye Liquiset. I usually use this with cosplay makeup, but um, I found that it's also a really good medium for wanting to foil eyeshadows. And as it turns out, I don't actually have any more white liquid eyeliner. I need to go out and buy some. Um, but I do have some silver eyeliner. This is Hard Candy's Walk the Line in the shade... What shade are you? Mirror Mirror. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint out 
with my black eyeliner the shape of the inner corner wing that I want on both eyes and then inside the hollow part of that I'm going to paint mirror mirror and then anything that I need to adjust I'm going to use both of these liners. I haven't used this product in a hot minute. I used to use this as a liquid highlighter for raves, but it's actually a liquid eyeshadow. This is the Milani Hypnotic Lights uh, Holographic Eye Topper in Starlight. And it has like these really intense pink sparkle shifts. I think I want to paint over the silver with this uh, holographic topper just to add a little bit of a pink sparkly dimension. Okay, now that I have this insane, like, holographic under eye type of thing going on. I'm gonna throw Nocturne onto the lower portion of the eyelid down here where I had the black originally. And I am going to smoke that out using the same brush actually. So I just thought about this. I'm going to take the same brush that I used to apply Biohazard without adding any product and I'm just going to kind of blend out Nocturne. I feel like this may or may not work. It looks like it's working. But I just wanted to get like a bit of a green tint going on down there and also I wanted to blend out the edges just a little bit more around Nocturne before going on to the rest of the face. And then from there I'm going to go back in with my liquid liner and just touch up any areas that have either been covered up by too much eyeshadow and don't look as crisp or just need some readjusting. For a brow highlight, which is going to be the last thing we do before um, I throw on some false eyelashes and mascara, I'm going to take the highlighter that I was going to use on my face. This is again the AOA Studio uh, Wonder Baked Highlighter in Snow. And I'm going to throw that right underneath my eyebrow. So I'm going to make mascara and lashes the absolute last thing that I do because I want to put them off as long as I can. I hate putting on false eyelashes so much. But this look I feel like, especially with like more drag looks that I like to do, they absolutely require false eyelashes because without them it just kind of feels empty. Um, but yeah, that is the shape of the eyeshadow that I've got going on. I really dig this. Um, I've done this eye shape a couple of times with a few other looks that I've done before, um, but never really this colorful. Um, I'm really, really liking it, um, especially the placement of everything. You know, it's like Powerpuff Girls, but make it drag. So now I'm going to just take the Dragon Fruit Blush and the Snow Highlighter and throw those on my cheeks. And I also mentioned that I was going to wait until the end just to see what kind of lip that I wanted to do. Um, I think I kind of want to keep it in the matte family, so I'm going to pick from here. These are all of my 
matte liquid lipsticks and my um, bullet lipsticks. So hopefully we get something in the color family. I really hope so. I don't have a lot of pink lipsticks. Um, so let's see what we got. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Try not to look down. Got, ooh, Milani's Black Spell. Black Spell is one of Milani's bullet lipsticks that they released during Halloween. It's just a matte black. This fits perfectly. <laughs> so I'm going to move my lip rings out of the way, line my lips, and then apply the lipstick. Also, the lip liner that I'm using is an actual black lip liner. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Alien. Um, so if you're looking for a black lip liner that isn't an eyeliner, because sometimes eyeliners don't do the same thing as lip liners do, um, I highly recommend this one. Um, and they're pretty inexpensive. I find mine at Ulta. Okay, so for lashes, I decided that these are the biggest lashes that I have right now. They're a pair of Halloween lashes. These are the top ones, and these are the bottom ones. And I think I'm only going to wear the top ones. I don't really feel like wearing bottom lashes, nor do I really think that they would go with this look. Um, so I'm going to try and fit these on my eyes and see how it goes. I'm going to do that off camera because it takes me forever to do false eyelashes, but I will come back and show you guys the final look when it's done. So the falsies are on, and I think they look absolutely fantastic. I think they really fit the style, especially. I have to keep my eyebrows up though, because if I don't, they look kind of funny, but that's just me. I also totally realized while I was doing my lashes, I forgot to line my inner um, my waterline. So I'm going to take a silver eyeliner. This is the Milani Liquify eyeliner in silver. Um, clever name. And just go ahead and throw this on my uh, waterline. And with that said, I'm going to throw on a little bit of setting spray and then accessorize and I shall be officially finished. Okay guys, so we are finally done with this look. It took four ever if i'm clocking it correctly it's about two hours now um didn't intend for this look to take so long but i actually haven't played with makeup in a very long time and i thought that this would be the perfect excuse to just kind of play around and try some different things and i'm really stoked with how this look turned out so the way i decided to accessorize was by throwing on this pair of plugs that i have which has this like little neon pink stone and this little skull and crossbones my friend Jasmine made these, um, and I think they have them on their store on Etsy, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll have to double check. But yeah, so my friend Jasmine made them. Uh, They're known as Gothic Bariqua on Instagram. And this collar I got from a flea market for 10 bucks. Um, but it's like this really cool holographic collar. I've worn this in a, another video, I think, previous to this. But yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the look. I definitely do. Um, and if you have any further comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And also down below in the description of the video will be any information pertaining to the video that I didn't cover in the video. And stay tuned for my next video. Um, how many times can I say video in one minute? <laughs> uh, a lot, apparently. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this and I will see you on my next one. Love you, bye.